What's up? Wayne Barron here with DarkEffects.net and today we are inside of Adobe After Effects and we are going to be creating this. As you can see our text is coming in from the top. It's creating a shadow effect on our bottom floor here and as you can see through the edges here it's sort of blown out on the sides. Now, creating this bottom effect right here is really a pain in the butt, and so hopefully we can do it in a quick time instead of uh, having to try to kill ourselves trying to do it. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's create a new composition. We got this at 550 by 309 at two seconds long. And first thing we wanna do is layer new solid. And this is going to be our floor. And we got it at 550 by 309. It's black. Okay, so we want to make it into a 3D layer. Click on your W for your rotate or rotate tool. Hit shift. Oops, let's try that again. Start rotating, then hit shift. And it'll drop it down. Okay, now hit V. Grab a hold of your Z. Drag it down. And then bring this out. And then bring that out just a little bit and that should do it that's our floor now new solid this one right here we're gonna make it uh, maybe uh, blue that'll be fine this is gonna be our sky 3d layer drag this joker back into 3d space Let's go to the back there hold down shift drag and expand it okay so next thing we want to do is add in our text so dark if whoops get ready to change my name there okay come here click the arrow try that again title safe let's go down to about up in here that's about level get rid of our title safe now we want to duplicate this layer. This one is our top. So now we want to duplicate this. Control D or Command D on a Mac. And we want to name this bottom. Okay, both of these are 3D layers. Now, for our bottom, we want to drag it down. Grab a hold of our little top bar right here. And flip it. Drag it back up. About right up in there. Okay, in order to get the effect that we need, we need to go over here to effects and type in corner, C-O-R-N-E-R, -E and then you will see corner pin. Drag it on to our bottom. And now, this is going to be the fun part. So, what I've done is, well, I'm just going to show you real quick how to use it. You see these pins on each side or each corner right here. What you do is that you drag each one of these pins and then it does different weird crazy things with your text. Okay, so what you got to do is that you got to pull it and pull it and then as you can see we've got it, we got it blown out here and coming in there. So let's go ahead and back up. Okay, and what I've got is I've got some presets that I'm going to type in here. So this 118. Then go over here to 124. <clears throat> and then down here for our upper right, we want 453 and 124. Okay, then for our lower left, we got a minus 264. And then 282. And then down here at the bottom, we got 763. And then 290. Okay, the next thing that we want to do here is let's make our sky, I've already done, and our floor invisible. Now let's make sure that our text is selected and let's make it just a little bit smaller. It's really hard to get this done just right. Uh, let's go a little bit bigger than that. Let's go 70. Oops. Like I said, this is really annoying trying to get this just right. 
So, okay, that looks close enough to me, so let's go ahead and cut on our background. Okay, and there we go. That looks good enough to me. So, now what we want to do is that we want to have our text come in from the top and also come in from the bottom. So, we need to go to our position, and we want to write down our position here so that we do not lose it. Okay, so our top is going to be 110, 222, and 0, 0.0. Our bottom is going to be 179, 276, and 00. zero. Alright, now, move this out of the way. So, now the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and choose our top and go ahead and move it out of our way. Let's go ahead and create our positions here. Let's go ahead and choose our top and let's go, whoops, up to the top. There we go. And our bottom, we want to move it to there. So, let's drag this in to a one second mark and then let's change this to 276 and then let's change this one to 222 okay now let's drag this back and let's go ahead and change our opacity to zero here and both of them okay now let's create our keyframes go to one and then let's change this one to 95 percent and change this one to 40. Now let's go back to about up in here and let's change this to 15. Okay. So now you should have something similar to this. As you can see, as it comes in, it's not completely showing. And let's go ahead and just drop this down to about 35. And let's drop this down to about 12. Yeah, that looks a lot better. That way it's not quite. It's almost there. And here we go. And there we are. All right, this is Wayne Barron from darkeffects.net, and I hope this one was educational for you, and I hope the heck that y'all was able to keep up with me. It's just playing around with this corner pin. This is the first time I've ever used it, and I needed to find a way to blow out my sides here. And so I did some checking online, and I found out about the corner pin, and then I had to figure out how to use it. So anyway, uh, this is only within probably... 30 minutes from starting it up, and it turned out pretty good. So, this is Wayne Barron once again with darkfakes.net. Y'all have a rocking week.